Hey, you there. Just wanted to let you know you are now listening to the AK Mindset Podcast. Yo, welcome back, guys. Hope all is good. We're back again. You know, the usual antics, AK update, episode 63, going over news topics, topics of interest, overreactions, hot takes, sometimes wild takes, and weekly reads and news. Uh, with me, the trio, the gang. What's good? Yo, we're back again. We're back again. Missed last week because I was under the weather, but I'm back, back and ready to go. Yeah, man, let's get into it. Yeah, welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys enjoy this one as usual. Yeah, man. Uh, let's jump into the usual um, proceedings. Actually, I might kind of switch up a bit. Uh, I kind of want to ask you, Ed, what was worse, being sick or watching England? Watching England twice. <laughs> watching England twice. There's two packs of doo doo, man. I don't even know why we're surprised at this point. It's, it's always the same thing. Score first, then pretend like we don't know how to play football. Because we don't know how to play football. Because <laughs> we accidentally, it's called accidental drillings when we score. And then we celebrate like we did sign really special and significant. And then <laughs> get it up. <laughs> That two, that two goals a bit, but it's mad, you know. Two goals scored, and you have Harry Kane, Burnham, Saka, Foden on the pitch, and they only match two goals in two games. And then you see the output of other teams; they're just banging in goals. Yikes! Look at Portugal today. Look at Germany. Yeah, man, we're getting cooked. As soon as we face a good team, a decent team, we're cooked. It's true. Well, I, I hope that. This humbles the souls out there because, like, we all we kind of want them to do well. I don't even know how we feel at the moment, but you know, just don't embarrass us too much, and you know, stop making the games boring because every other game is entertaining. And then I watch you, and then I'm like, why? Why do I even watch football? That you you start <laughs> question you make me question why I watch football, which is not good. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyway. Jumping into our weekly news, uh, I've got a, a big special announcement that I know you guys uh, would uh, love to hear. The, the big three looks like they're making a return and we're talking about regular show revival, Adventure Time movie, an amazing world of Gumball season seven and a movie, which is actually crazy because I'm, I love amazing world of Gumball. But yeah, what do you mind think of the, the, th- Big three returns, you feel like they shouldn't come back, you know, like when a good thing finishes, bring their back, sometimes in the end roll. Would that kind of affect, you know, what you think about them, you know, bringing their back? Mm-hmm. I think the only thing I'm happy with really is the, the movies, I'd say. But the season seven and a revival of the show, I don't know. It ended nice, just leave it like that, because it's just more possibility of ruining the good stuff. But at the same time, I'm sure the big fans for this individual shows are happy, or I think they, are, they might be happy, but I think movies make sense, you know? Just bring back a movie to show the, the fans, hey, see, we've got, we've got something left. I hope you enjoyed this. This is, this is something for you. But bringing a new season for something that's ended a while ago, I'm not sure, man. There's just so many ways that can be ruined. What about you, Dan? Um, to be honest, I don't have much interest because I barely watched any of these shows. So, so um, they're just they're just TV shows to me. I don't have any attachment at all. <laughs> at all? No, no, I'm surprised. I thought you'd have watched at least one of them. Like the regular show was a no. banger. I've only seen like clips. Like I've seen Lemonhead, and that's. Would you like, say probably Adventure Time is the one? Um, <laughs> I can't even say that because I, I haven't even seen like an episode. I think the most I've the most exposure is like a mobile phone game of Adventure Time that I used to play in year ten, but that's about it. That's two jokes. Was it a good game? Rate the game. I I never yeah, heard. I didn't even know they had a game. It's like it's like one of them. I guess 
temple t- temple run esque kind of like it's just like endless. You're like doing tricks and you're kind of like going through different areas. It was pretty good quality. No, that's sick. Because I know it's a bit random, but I think today I saw one of those Game Boy simulator things and I saw them playing the old Scooby-Doo game and I was like, wow, what I would give to replay that game. What a sick game. Like that, oh, nostalgia. When I saw that, it brought back so many memories. Actually, just flooded me with memories. But yeah, man, I think for me, I like the idea of movies. So mm. I don't mind them pumping out uh, any of the big three movies wise, like, because obviously it can give us a new maybe perspective on the world, a new story. Maybe there's stuff that they didn't get to uh, fully flesh out that I wanted to, even though it's ended. Uh, mm. But yeah. Yeah. Like I said before, I think movies is the way to go, in my opinion. Um... I mean, the only one I really watched watch was Amazing World of Gumball. Um, Adventure of Time was not in order, so and regular show I didn't really watch it. But a movie makes sense to me. To be fair, we will see how it goes. I'm sure the fans are excited, like I said before. So I think the I think it's important to ask people like you who watch everything, Rajal, see how you feel. Like, what do you think of a season seven of Gumball? Do you think that excites you, or are you worried at all? The season, the season seven is the, the only one that I'm a bit shaky on mm. because I don't think it needs another season. Uh, and I, I don't think anybody is kind of pushing for that. They are pushing for content. So movies, yeah, they would be hyped mm. for that. But something that kind of follows on from like directly from a show that ended doesn't seem right or kind of awkward to fit in now and because I just see it as a complete set. Uh but yeah, movie, hype for it. Shows, we'll wait and see. You know me, I will dip in and give it a try, or whatever, just to uh just to experience it. And yeah. if it it bangs, it bangs. If it doesn't, I just pretend it doesn't exist like I do with many, many things. Fair enough. Hey man. Uh did you man have any news that popped at you this week by any chance? I feel like I had something, but I cannot remember for news wise. Um, nah, nah. No, that's calm. We will then transition to. Uh, oh, I do. Oh, oh let's go back. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Guys, you didn't hear that last part. Danny, take it away. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys heard about um, the voice actor for Saba, Toru Furia. Um, he stepped down from a multiple. Um, all, most of his, all of his roles, even so, he does um, Sabo for One Piece, Yamcha for Dragon Ball, and also uh, Amaru Toru in Detective Conan. And basically, um, it got um, released or published that he had an affair with one of his fans, got them pregnant, Damn. um, and forced them to abort the baby. Damn. Um, and was also um physically abusive actually he hit her once when they had a argument but yeah so he has <laughs> yeah once is too many times so yeah um he's stepped down he's probably gonna go to prison i think he's like 69 years old but yeah uh it's a mad 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 thing get him locked up at least he stepped down or they fired him for the roles yeah but it's always gonna be odd to hear sabo not sound like Sabo, but at the same time, is a is a sacrifice that we have to take for someone being stupid. So it's it had to happen. But hopefully, the the victim involved is is doing good. To be fair, because that is a traumatic event to go through. So wishing her the best. Bro, legit kept on doing something worse. It's like he was trying to up himself. Like oh, every sorry. every situation, like, you know, I can I can go harder. I can, I can <laughs> you know I can really. I, up the and go to the depths of depravity. You know what I mean? Like, this is not enough. That is crazy, bro. Like, if I don't you feel like every time you hear, like, oh, do you hear about this person? Do you hear about this voice actor? Do you hear about this mangaka? My heart drops every single time. Same. Because I'm like, what <laughs> the, nonsense bro. did you do now? What nonsense did you do now? And 50%, even probably more than that, is just like, oh, yeah, I was right. This idiot did something disgusting that we can't even repeat on the podcast because apparently you, 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 they just produce a lot of terrible people in, in the anime and manga world for some reason 
Um, um, they'll be either dead or they've done something dumb. It's yeah. never, it, it's rarely something good. It's never like, guys, guess what? Like, just, you just gave away loads of money to a good cause yeah. or adopted a random kid. I don't know. There was not, nothing good. It's always yeah. bad. Yeah. Never that, never that. It just, it hurts, but hopefully there's more positives than negatives in the anime community because, yeah, this is sad, terrible, but hopefully he gets what he, he deserves with his prison time, fines, whatever. Just chuck all, all the laws at him. Chuck it at him, please. And if you don't, I will. So I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. Don't let me catch a flight. <laughs> don't let me catch a flight. The vigilante Rizzo. <laughs> for real, for real. Well, you did say that we need more hero stories. And the next <laughs> topic of interest is a hero story. And a man okay. stops a knife attack because his anime hero would have done the same. And this a Taiwanese man um, helped stop a knife attack on the metro. And yeah, bro, like he was inspired by Furin. He said they would have done the same. So, of course, I had to be on crud. Um, what do you guys think about that? Like, would you do the same? Would, do you think that you'd be motivated by the actions of an anime hero that we kind of admire to stop a knife attack? Uh, 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 no. No, <laughs> it, not be, it, it was not a difficult question, to be fair. I can't lie. Thank you, Daniel, for answering that. No, I can't <laughs> lie to you. Unless it's a family member, I really don't think I would. Yeah, same. I wouldn't even um, lie. I respect it though. I respect it highly because even though I feel like sometimes that, that can be stupid because what, what if your life is wasted, then the person was attacking anyway <laughs> gets killed anyway. So now there's two bodies instead of one. I always think like that. But at the same time, I respect those people because a good amount of the time they, they save the day. So I respect it. I like the mentality. But please, please, we're not bulletproof. We're not knife proof. I'm begging the name of God. <laughs> Just sometimes it's okay to put yourself first. But when it comes to family, to be fair, that, that's out of the window for me. So I can't really talk too much. Family and friends. Yeah. And then yeah. obviously, like. Little kids, yeah. yeah. Henri. I'm sorry. Or. What? <laughs> if somebody was trying to stab oh, yes. Henri. Did I hear Henri? Yes, if somebody was trying to stab Henri, <laughs> I will back it. I'll be like, if, someone, if I saw Ian Wright in trouble, <laughs> I'm on crud. I'll be like, you touch an uncle. I'm risking it all. What about you, Daniel? Hazard. Uh, be easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, let me let me push past the, the security that Henry has and save him myself. <laughs> it's like, I got this. You, man, I know he pays you a lot of money to do this. But I promise you, I'm a different gravy. This is pure passion. I don't get, I don't even, I'm doing this for free. Yeah, I might, I might have to see Ronaldo on the other side still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought it was an interesting story, though. Um, yeah, respect, respect to that guy. Yeah. Like, he does look like, if you see his image, he does look like a, a typical... Uh, he looks like somebody you would think would do that. Like, that's what I'm going to say. Enough. Like You look at him and say, yeah, bro, yeah, that is, that's down your alley. I'm not, and I, I respect you. <laughs> Because I knew that he had his hero moment. Like, the light was shining in and, <laughs> like, everything went still for him. He took it. He had an internal monologue that nobody could hear. Yeah, he playing of course, he, bro, he probably po popped in his headphones, chose his favourite playlist. And then he was like, yeah, I'm ready for action. He probably said a speech. Tried to make friends. <laughs> it's actually crazy. But, yeah, I think the guys at the pods and probably you guys at home, are definitely not going to be uh, on that. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Everybody has their different takes. Everybody, you know, has their different ways to live and risk their life. Uh, <laughs> moving on to you, Ed. Let us know your hot take. Oh, yes, 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 yes. For one, to have a hot take. Hot take, Ed is back. Um... This one's about the boys, so probably you, Rajal, we will, will hear a lot more. Um, I kind of got a spot on the boys season four just because of this topic, because I thought it was wild, but it's not nothing crazy of a spoiler. But 
I'm sure you're going to understand is um, some people were mad because the boys is, is getting too woke, apparently. And I saw a specific tweet says like, yeah, it's getting too much. You know, it's too on the nose. Like, what do you mean? There's a smart black woman who's controlling her homelander. That's crazy that, take. <laughs> that was the issue. That was the issue they had with, with the season. A smart black woman? That's a what? crazy take. No, you're, you're pushing it too far now. This wokeness needs to stop. There's, there's a black woman who has intelligence. You know what? when you said the boys are woke? I was watching it, thinking in my head, and just playing back scenes. I was like, where, woke where? <laughs> I, was, I was actually thinking in my head, but actually where in the boys? There's nothing woke about the boys. If anything, if the boys the are disturbing. Boys. If you watch the boys, like the first thing I think about is rope dancing. You have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you, have problem. you might be the issue. You might be the issue. Because they, they pick phone out some some people, but it's is it's so dramatic. It's like you don't you don't think anyone will get offended because what, what do you mean is woke? You have hormones that killing people left and right. I know some of the most disturbing scenes you can ever see with with, with with objects and superpowers, but it's wokeness you're focused on. And specifically because of the black woman being smart. That was a highlight. That, that just made me laugh. It's like, what? That's the disrespect black women get is is crazy. What? She's intelligent. And that that was oh, I can't watch this no more. <laughs> That's one of the crazy. worst takes I've ever heard in my life. Cr- crazy. All serious as well. The funny thing is it's Twitter. So you, you know it's gonna get like 40k likes at least. Yeah, of course. So it's it, I, I was just look like what? So oh, that's when I found out that like, there's someone called like well, Mrs. Sage, Dr. Sage, Madam Sage, whatever. And yeah, people have found issue with her because apparently she. Are you up to date? Some... I'm not. I haven't watched it yet. When you watch it, you understand how dumb this is. Like you, you already <laughs> think it's dumb, but when you watch it, you're gonna be like, yeah. huh? They were saying that she has, she has like, Homer that respects her too much. What do you mean he respects a woman for once in his life and that's too much? He doesn't even respect her. Like, that he people don't even understand person. respect because it's not respect. It doesn't kill it's her. Because, that's yeah, legit. It's because <laughs> he. I don't want to spoil it. That's why I can't say anything. But, you know, it's yeah. not really respect. You know, respect is like you, there's things that you kind of admire that you, you're not going to benefit from. from. From another person, like I respect you because your values. I respect you because you're out. You know what I mean? Bro is not respecting. Yeah. He doesn't respect her. He doesn't respect anybody. Bro just. Uh, anyway, this season be good though. There's there's no wokeness yeah. in it, and these guys, the the person is reaching, and you know that they're set in their ways. Yeah, yeah, and it was just I was like, really, really a black female character. I'm like trying to fit. Crazy. Actually mad. Actually mad. Uh, and uh, Daniel, have you watched season four yet? Yeah. Oh, you are you up to date yet? Yeah. Calm. So you know I how dumb this comment it. is. Oh, it's, it's not that I'm watching it. I'm watching someone else watch it because, like, I, don't, <laughs> I really just don't care. <laughs> that, that's how I've been. Uh, it's by osmosis almost. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, but about the comments, I think it just means people aren't been paying attention because it's been pre-political from season one. So if you're only noticing now that it's um, woke, then I'm sorry, but it's, it's been like that from the beginning. But yeah, they're just not happy that it's a black person, especially a woman, she's intelligent, which is sad. Yeah, moving on to the overreaction, which I've got a very interesting one. Uh, and it's a whole country overreacting. Well, I didn't yeah, overreact. <laughs> and it's Denmark recalling the South Korean firm's instant noodles for being too spicy. Uh, I just feel like, yo, what are you going to do with them? Throw them away? But you, man, let me know your thoughts on their course of actions. Can it be too spicy that the whole nation can't eat it? I felt it was hella dramatic because no, not only did they say it was too spicy, they said it was low key poisonous. <laughs> I was like, come on, bro, I've tasted that, bro. It's not that crazy, but then again, it might be the culture. No one, people are not used to the spice there. But have you seen the some of the interviews? Some people in the country are like, why do I have to suffer? Yeah, so some good. people can't find the spice. <laughs> so it's not even the whole country. It's just the government. I bet you the president tasted it. Said, yeah, no one's having this now. <laughs> was- that decision wasn't made by the people. 
<laughs> that was made by the government. <laughs> One government official entered it and said, Jesus Christ, what is this? Do you Had think they return, they'll overturn it? I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's enough people who like it. And I don't know. Let me never say it. I don't know. But it has to be a lot of people who like disagree with it in Denmark to for it to be overturned. It doesn't matter what we say or what the people in South Korea say or the manufacturers. It just depends on if you can change the mind of the government and it's the people to do that. But I thought it was like poisonous. Get off your breath. Like, unless people it's, are dying. It's spicy. It's spicy. No one was dying, blood. If, if, if you said, okay, you came out with the stats. These people all died because of it was so spicy. They just couldn't function afterwards. They're in hospital now and they're fighting for their lives. If you said that, I'm like, fair enough. Yeah. I really think, I was making, I was talking to my sisters, like, can you imagine just one government official at it, had by loads of milk and says, yeah, Brennan, no one's having this now. No, you 100% did the challenge. You tried to do the <laughs> spicy noodle challenge. And, I said, <laughs> and it was embarrassing. You know that? You know that uh, Idris Elba meme? meme. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> he said, nah, 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 nah. That's it. No more of this. Not in my country. Have you man tried the noodles? Yeah, it is. It is spicy. It is spicy. That, and have you tried it? Uh, nah, I don't eat them anymore. Anymore? I, I, I don't think I've eaten, like, instant noodles for, like, in like maybe like five years. Five. It's not like instant noodles though. It's like a proper. It's like yeah, proper. Like Indomie, but it's just really, really, really spicy. It comes well, instant. Yeah, I mean, I haven't tried them. I, haven't, I don't even know what they are. Yeah, it's like a, it's, it comes in a red and black packet. It's just so you know how spicy oh, it is. Oh, those ones. <laughs> you My sister woman, has yeah. them, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm good, man. Yeah, you know, I thought you know the spice, the Asian spice is different from African spice, bro. Because that thing be, it be taking me through all the dimensions of the world Bro, when I eat it. I'm I like, start getting spiritual God. when it's like... I was like, oh my... <laughs> Stop saying, God, I would never do this again. Just <laughs> get me into this one time. I would never taste it again. But saying it's poisonous, that's, that's a bit wild. <laughs> <laughs> poisonous. <laughs> Actually, crazy scenes. Uh, I see you have an overreaction. <laughs> Let us know. Yes, yes. I don't know if I was overreacting or not um, it seems like the comments on TikTok are agreeing with me but I saw someone on TikTok with a Toy B Rama face that how big was what it? what do you mean? you know Toby Rama the, the red lines he has on his face yeah Naruto yeah oh those okay yeah a full face that what? what color were same they? same size red same size the, no, no, what color face. was the person? oh he was white Okay, of course. <laughs> so it was obvious. And I was like, of all characters to have and a face that as the I was just I was I was just so I was looking at the the and the guy for like a good ten minutes, like you have a whole Tabirama tattoo walking around. I'm like, yeah man. Okay, bud. But am I overreacting? Do you think that's just a little bit crazy? I don't think you're overreacting. Man. I don't <laughs> think it's face. not a reaction. I think like that I'll tattoo. Back to the, the most questionable racism <laughs> in the world of America. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, that's, that's, you have to look deep into that guy's antics, man. <laughs> hey, what are you feeling? Hey, just talk to us. Just let us know. Like, what are your views? Are you feeling a bit genocidal? Just, maybe just a tad. You know, <laughs> do you feel like you know segregating a group of people? Just, just let, let us know. Um, but yeah, man, that yeah. is. I don't think I. I like more subtle tattoos. I think those subtle yeah. ones that are. Uh, I I feel like it just seems Give very it. basic and unnecessary. But why are you getting your face the Toby Ramo that yeah. face tattoos? All three of them. What? Nobody Give can take just a star. Pardon? A just a star. That's what. Legit. Give me that. Oh, that's cold. You see, a fairy tale emblem. Give me that. Not a face that of Toby Rambo on my face. Because now, people don't even understand. Like, if you saw that, if you saw that straight away, like, in real life, would you initially think it's a Toby Rambo face tattoo? I'll just think you're a mad person. <laughs> Before it finally clocks. I didn't even cock it. I just like, oh, he had a paint, something painted on his face. Then I read the thing. I was like, oh, it's Toby Rambo. And I just noticed he has a curse mark as well. Yeah, the curse mark as well? Yeah. 
We were trying to monopolize all of them. <laughs> I said I want it all. <laughs> I said can you remember add a cross back. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is bored, bro. Oh my days. Yeah, that's that's not it. I don't think you're reacting. Rest. He just needs to finish it. Just a uh, Gara face that as well. Complete it off. He just has to stay at home after that. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can't... Save your money, G. Save, Save your money. Save your money. Can't be out here looking like that. Like, bro, what are you, like, what are you even going to do for work now? <laughs> I don't think he cares that much. He, clearly, he doesn't care about work, man. Maybe he's a entrepreneur. He has his own business. I hope so. You have to. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> Oh my days! Yeah, that's one of the worst tattoos. I I need to see that. You have to send that afterwards. I yeah, yeah. It. Um, I'm a fan of tattoos, though, definitely. And I I think I'll get one one day, but I'm in no rush, and it's not going to be. Yeah. I promise you guys, a Toby Rama <laughs> tattoo on my face. I promise you. Just don't. Not, I will never speak to you face to face again. <laughs> I respect Just, that. I'll be I'll be looking away when you're talking to me. <laughs> I'll be like Ed Ed Ed. Are you like Richard, yeah. are you looking I don't know you far <laughs> off into the distance <laughs> that was two jokes um yeah man that was a, a good one we I'm are sure. now moving on to the last discussion point weekly reads and watches um I'll go first first um I got back into my Rick and Morty bag um, Star Season Five. I've been way, way behind. And yeah, it's it's been good, man. It's Rick and Morty doing the antics, and I, I miss it a lot. I'm binging it right now, so that's that's a good feeling. Um, yeah, I think that's the major thing I've been watching. Really and truly, it's my Rick and Morty. Um, oh, I was supposed to, the my what I watched for last week that I missed. I was ready to. I finally started Attack on Titan Season Four. Oh, let's go. I mean, I started it already. I'm just restarting it. Yeah. So I can go through the whole season. And yeah, I just need to go through it fast before I get, before I get sport. <laughs> sport. Um, because the, the streak is still going. It's a from the minus streak. Player, I, I got from, from someone cosplaying Levi. I know something terrible happened to him because he's bandaged up. Um, but he's alive, so he's not dead, I think. I wouldn't like to know if he is or not. Um, but yeah, so... Attack on Titan started season four, you know, following Gabby and the crew and the craziness. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be an amazing watch. And I don't have to wait years and years for the other ones to come out. So, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. Yeah, man. When you get that done, definitely let us know what you think. And yes, sir. Need to. It's been, it's, been a, it's been a minute. So, yeah, man. Mm. Uh, I'll do mine quickly. I remembered what I watched last week. Because, yes, last week I f- legit forgot I had Scatterbrain. <laughs> I was like, what did I, what did I watch? And the movie I watched was Pulp Fiction. And it was a very good watch. Like, had it up on the projector. It was feeling very cinematic in my room. I was like, right, yes, this is just the life. I did not understand a thing in that movie. (laughs) I was, at the end of it, I was lost. I I looked at my ceiling and I said, right, yo, is this the type of movie they be making, like? Nothing. Every, is this the type of movies that you guys gassed for so many years? Yeah, oh, it's a must movie. watch. I don't know what happened. Uh, I want to watch it though because it just the clips I've seen. Say what again? I do. <laughs> I, I need to watch it, but this this is not it's not pushing me in the right direction. I don't know how you. You, you should watch you it, like it. But I did like it. I was just confused, and I don't like being confused. So I liked <laughs> it, but I was confused. I had I watched. Three separate videos on YouTube to dissect what <laughs> happened. And each of them had three different interpretations. So I'm like, <laughs> none of you guys know what you watched. We're all making Go things up. one of those movies. Yes. Interpret it how you want to interpret it. Everybody <laughs> was just telling them how they felt about how it affected them and what they think <laughs> you were saying. Oh, my days. It was... But like I said, it was kind of cool to see some of my uh, favorite actors um, when they were young. It was one of those. Mm. But yeah, that's me. I didn't watch any long fiction or long fiction? Any long, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Form. That's it. Series? Long form. I didn't watch any long form. form, It is long form, but that was last week's. I forgot. I didn't watch anything this week. Um, I see what you mean. But I did watch, I was watching Rick and Morty season seven because it came up on Netflix. What a coincidence. Yeah, I know. Crazy. When I saw that, I was like, ah. 
Um, <laughs> and yeah, just to pass the time, and it was it was funny, usual Rick and Morty stuff. I know that yeah, a lot of people kind of criticize season seven. I don't know why. Like, probably it's such an unserious show. Show you don't need to go <laughs> look too deeply into it. But yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, Rick and Morty fans like to pretend they're smart, didn't they? Are hundred percent. But we're watching That's a cartoon. A just, just firm it. Like, it's not that deep. That's enjoy the ride, man. It's... Unless it's doo doo cheeks, which I doubt it is. Just enjoy the ride. Enjoy it. And that's definitely what I was doing. But yeah. Daniel, what about you? Um, so I, I just did some reading this week. Watched some stuff, but um, just the usual. So in terms of reading, I read quite up to How Do We Relationship. Um, I think it's definitely one of the um, best romance series I've read for manga. Very good. Um, a lot of things happening. Um, story is moving. It looks like we're going into um, a different different area, which is going to be interesting to see how they deal with it. So, yeah. And then the second thing, I caught up to Twin Star Exorcist. Mm. Um, it's going to be finishing soon, so I just thought I should um, catch up so I'm ready for the end. Um, definitely one of the unique Battle Shonen series I've read where actually incorporates the romance um throughout the story rather than leaving it to the end and it's actually well developed so um very pleased with how it's turned out and um hopefully they stick the landing mm. fingers crossed yeah man that sounds very good you also reminded me that i read two books so i'll just quickly <laughs> announce them <laughs> um so i started reading the book of five rings by miyamoto musashi which is one of my favorite Ooh. philosophers, uh, Japanese mm. samurai. And then I watched, I watched, I read, started reading the sequel to the At- Atlas Paradox, uh, Destiny, Destiny is a Choice. And okay. the first chapter or so has been very engaging, a lot of fun, uh, kind of brought me back into the world of the Atlas uh, series. So I'm excited. And I do know it has a third book, which I only found out because of what should we call it? Um, we saw it at Comic Con at the book fair, oh. and I was like, "Right, there's a third book." So they kind of pushed me to finishing off this quickly so I can get to the end of that. Um, but yeah, man, is there any last words you might want to say? Anything on your mind that you want to share with the people? Um. No nah, man, just go outside and enjoy the weather before Britain snatches away from us again. Um, and just do your hobbies, man. Michelle's been taking pictures. I've been trying to take pictures too. Yeah, I'm sure Daniel's doing the stuff he likes as well. So just enjoy, enjoy the weather. Start your hobbies. Just enjoy life, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a beautiful chop way. Life. Chop life. Chop life doesn't chop you. Hey, man. Hey, man. Preach. <laughs> Yeah, that's a beautiful way, a beautiful way for us to end here. So hope you guys enjoyed episode sixty-three. Um, enjoy the hot sun. It's gonna be mm-hmm. a heat wave this week. Oof. Don't get cooked too much. Sun cream, water, and stay in the shade. Avoid midday. But yes, sir. Peace. 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 Adios. Love you.